Boo! Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Welcome to Children's Story. Today, as some of you might have guessed, we are going to be talking about gifts or presents or regalo, as they say in Spanish. I hope I said that right. Recently, we have celebrated a lot of things. We've celebrated Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day or maybe somebody had a birthday. Maybe it was you. Happy birthday! Or maybe someone you know had an anniversary. Now on special occasions like these, people like to give each other gifts or presents. Now gifts don't have to come wrapped in pretty paper just like this one. Gifts come in all kinds of shapes and sizes in different forms. Sometimes gifts can come in the shape of food. Mm. Maybe for a special occasion, somebody cooked you your favorite food or baked you a very special cake. Gifts can come in the form of food. Sometimes gifts can come in the shape of money. Maybe you've gotten money as a gift and Maybe you use that money to buy something you've always wanted, or maybe you just put that money away in a piggy bank to save up for something. Gifts can come in the form of money. Sometimes gifts can come in the shape of an adventure or a trip. Maybe for a special occasion, somebody took you to the park or to the beach or maybe to the zoo or maybe you even got on a big airplane and flew all the way across to a faraway place to have a great big adventure there. Gifts can come in the form of an adventure or a trip. Sometimes gifts can come in the form of time. Maybe somebody stayed and played with you for the whole day and you had such a lot of fun. Or maybe somebody watched your favorite show with you. Or maybe somebody sat down and read your favorite story. Sometimes gifts can come in the shape of time. Now some people, they will do what is called exchanging gifts. For example, in exchanging gifts, if I got a very awesome present from you, thank you, if I got this gift from you, I would give you this great big gift. Here you go. So if I give you something, you give me back something in return. That is what is called exchanging gifts. Now, what if when I got this awesome gift from you, all I gave you was a stinky sock? Ooh, that's disgusting and really smelly. And you say, that's not fair, Joy. And you're right. That isn't fair. You gave me this awesome gift and all I gave you was a stinky sock? That is not right. Now, what if when you gave me this awesome gift, what I gave you back was nothing. I gave you absolutely nothing at all. Now you're really mad. <laughs> now you say, Joy, that's really not fair. I gave you that amazing gift and you gave me nothing? That's not fair. In exchanging gifts, when I give you something, you're supposed to give me something back. And you're right. That's how exchanging gifts works. But, you know, I know somebody who gave us this amazing, wonderful, precious gift and in return got absolutely nothing at all. Do you know who that is? It's God. He gave us the most amazing, wonderful, precious gift called Jesus. And Jesus came down here to live with us. And he even died for us. And in return, God 
got nothing, got absolutely nothing at all. And you say, that's not fair. And you're right, that isn't fair. But you know what? That's how much God loves us. God loves us so much, so very, very much, that even though he knew that he wasn't going to get anything back, he knew that when he gave Jesus to us, that Jesus would have to die for us. And you know what? He still gave the gift anyway. He still gave us Jesus because that's how much he loves us. He loves us so very, very much. And you know what? Today, you can actually give a gift back to God. We can give a gift back to God. You know what that gift is? That gift is our hearts. We can give our hearts to God by asking Jesus to come into our hearts and live in there, live with us, not just today, but forever and forever. And by doing that, we are saying, thank you, God. Thank you for the amazing gift that is Jesus. Thank you for loving us so much that you sent him to die for us. And that is how we can give a gift, a gift back to God. So thank you so much for listening. And remember, the gift of Jesus, we keep it every day in our hearts forever and forever. Happy Sabbath, and I'll see you next time.